<laughs> Happy Wednesday, everybody. Sorry, my, my chair is lowering and I uh -oh. keep sinking and I actually I'm going to fix it. <laughs> I thought you said something's annoying. Uh, your chair. Really that too. My chair is <laughs> yeah. annoying. My chair is annoying. You keep sinking throughout keep the newscast. Sinking. I, know, sinking. I know, and you're sinking okay. too. Hey, folks, we, we are here to tell you there will not, I repeat, there will not be a white Christmas uh, yes. here in the well, show. Not here. Yeah. not here. You could go to the mountains and <laughs> have true. some snow if you, you want a white go, Christmas. You can go, what, an hour and 45 minutes yeah, northwest of us? You can go to and, Colorado. And, and, boy, I tell you what. No. You can go yeah. all the way to Why go there when Ooh. you can just go to the mountains here? But well, you're looking for a lot of snow falling. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> snow. I'm what? Good. <laughs> We'll talk, about, we'll talk about the mountains later. I'll show I'll you the pictures. Of my chair. <laughs> snow has been rare in the Charlotte area. Mm -hmm. uh, the last snow season was the first season in Charlotte history that didn't even have a trace of snow. The no. last season. Last, we did not have um, one flake of snow. Not one. That's right. No. So while we wait for the potential mm -hmm. of snowfall, yeah. even though Larry says, no way, Jose, Chris Mulcahy tells us uh, how snowflakes are formed. think of snow, you may be thinking of a scene like this, a winter wonderland. But when you zoom into these falling snowflakes, their intricate beauty is one of the coolest things in nature. Let's learn how they form in another Weather IQ. You may have heard of the saying, no two snowflakes are alike because they have different branches and designs that make each one unique. The process is complicated, so let's start with square one, or in this case, hexagon one. A snowflake starts as a small particle, such as a speck of dust, where water vapor condenses onto it. As we know, a water molecule has two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. These hydrogen atoms link together, crystallize, and then form a hexagon, or a hexagonal prism. So this is why snowflakes most commonly have six sides. From here, branches can form on the corners, bonding to the second hydrogen atom. But the process isn't done. This snowflake will continue to rise into colder air in the cloud, gaining more branches and dendrites as more tiny water particles bond to the flake. Once the plate becomes too heavy, it then falls. The two main atmospheric factors are temperature and level of humidity. However, it's the temperature that mainly shapes the snowflake. When temperatures are warmer, say 28 degrees to freezing, snowflakes tend to fall as thin hexagon plates. But a higher humidity level can create larger flakes or even create the basic classic snowflake. There are 35 different shapes of snowflakes, such as needles and columns, that fall in colder temps from 14 to 27 degrees. But colder temperatures that are 10 degrees or less produce the most common and intricate snowflakes. These are known as stellar dendrites. But in this range, another snowflake that's equally as spectacular forms called the stellar plate. I'm meteorologist Chris Mulcahy. What's up, UCNC Charlotte? A lot wow. of research went into that. Oh, what, yes. What Chris did, obviously fantastic. And then just to explore and look at all the different types of snowflakes to determine the different types and come up with the names as well. To, yeah. to look at them up close, dendrites. they're just beautiful. They they're stunning. Yeah, I was looking at stats that we, we've had since 1878, we've had four white Christmases. Yeah. I've got, I've got all the information to show you right here, just okay. the history of it. Let's First of all, if you want to find some snow, we'll I'll tell you where to go, right there. Beach Beautiful. Mountain. Beach Mountain's got it. Around the a couple hours away. away. That's some, some natural snow up there, then man-made. So that's where the snow is. Beautiful really view pretty. up there. Yeah, beautiful it? view up there. As far as the most recent snow on Christmas, four-tenths of an inch, 2010. Old St. Nick is going, oh, 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 not this year. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the evil Santa right there. Huh. All right, Charlotte White Christmas history, measurable snow. The year was 1947, 5.8 inches. Wow. Now that would be amazing. Back in 1880, I remember it well, uh -huh. 4 inches. <laughs> I do remember 2010, 0.4. And back in 1909, 2 tenths of an inch. Just 2% of years on record, 70 degrees has occurred six times. 2% wow. of the years on record, wow. we've had snow, and 70 degrees has occurred six times. What would the city do with five inches of snow? I mean, I think everything would just shut down. It, it does. For like a week. Yeah. yeah. It, it, does. Does. it, 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 it yeah. shuts down. <laughs> it shuts down for far less. Two, yeah. inches, two inches can shut it down. Maybe even an inch. I would oh, say, an, I would say yeah. an inch will yeah. shut the city yeah. down. But I mean, White Christmas is just a fantasy. Just uh, not, a, not around these parts here. But <laughs> just watch the movie. Even this year, it's going to be hard to find a White Christmas in the eastern part of the United States. Uh, even like in Chicago. If you want to Chicago, right? Yes. Not so in, I'm not, not in the forecast up there? Not either. in the forecast. This mm. is the craziest thing. I'm yeah. going to go home and there's going to be no snow on the ground. I was really looking forward to complaining about <laughs> it. So you could just stay here <laughs> and, 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 you know. And it's the has, same. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Joy Mott chiming in. No snow in Wisconsin for Christmas mm -hmm. this year. Yes. Yeah, I'm disappointed. I, feel like, I mean, I feel like it's it's changed a lot. Because, I mean, I mean, I know growing up in Cleveland, 
Cleveland, we had white Christmases yes. quite a bit. Well, it was a long time and, ago and, when and you were a kid. <laughs> Speak, speak for yourself, Sprinkle. Uh, no, but, I mean, but, but there's something to be said for that because they, they're not having white Christmases yeah. like they used yeah. to. Um, they're Cleveland, Chicago, like any yeah. of the around the Great Lakes that often get you yeah. know, pummeled. I mean, the, the, the debate will can be forever, but global warming certainly is a part of that. Now, the debate yeah. is what causes it, but sure. it's, it's the fact that our, our weather is much milder across the United States, and that's why there's less and less snowfall. Even in places yeah. like uh, up there in Cleveland, yeah. Ohio, and Chicago, Illinois. Yeah. And, well, you're from Arkansas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm from North Carolina. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, that's yeah we, right. we never had a white yeah. Christmas, so even seeing snow was very exciting. It's, yeah. You can enjoy it in movies. I was about to say, <laughs> I moved down here for a reason. That's right. That's yeah. right. I don't know that I really miss it that much. I don't. Um, all right, folks, chime in, let us know what you think, and we'll see you back here tomorrow for another edition of WCNC Charlotte to go. 